Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog update. As you can see at this time of year, there's really not a whole lot to look at. It's kind of, you know, the end of winter, everything's sort of dead and just drying up. Uh, but that's not gonna stop me from getting out here at least and uh, getting things updated here. <laughs> so let's get you caught up with some updates. Probably the biggest one on the table right now is the big shift from leaving a job and doing this full time. And I'm pretty excited for that. For the most part, it's been something I've been looking forward to doing for probably a good couple of years, I'd say. Just kind of getting all set up and making sure I was ready for it. Um, but with that said too, you know, I've been working at Gateway for four years and I'm going to miss a lot of some of the good stuff that I did get out of there, you know, like it's still four years of my life. You know, I've, I've been in Kelowna for a little over four years and pretty much that has been my Kelowna identity, if you will. <laughs> but it is time to move on because, uh, you know, it's time for some personal growth. It's time for some business growth. And I just didn't feel like uh, I was in the right environment for that. So now I got to go out and uh, seek out those environments to, uh, to get things going. <laughs> So I've been gearing myself up lately by attending more networking events and uh, meeting more people, more entrepreneurs here in Kelowna. And of all the places that I've been going to the most has actually been Staples. Uh, the short story is, is they're changing their business philosophy from being a retail outlet into a place where entrepreneurs can come together, they can do work and whatnot. Uh, but probably the key thing that I wanna mention is they have a like a smaller-ish sort of conference room, if you want to call it that, where about 25 people or so can sit in and uh, they can do seminars and stuff in there. It's kind of a neat space. And uh, so anyway, uh, they generally have uh, somebody in there at 12 o'clock and six o'clock, uh, I guess Monday through Friday. So pretty much whenever I've got availability, I'm going there and I'm, I'm seeing what they got to offer. And I'm looking for opportunities to do video marketing services. And what I'm also learning is I'm looking for people that could potentially help me because what I'm doing and what I'm getting into, you know, I can't wear all the hats and I'm gonna need to develop a network and a team and, and, and all that stuff. So I'm really sensing that uh, this is probably gonna be a good place for me to, uh, to get that done. <laughs> so I'm not counting all my eggs just yet. Uh, part of the nature of the type of work that I'm getting into is especially from a marketing perspective, is I need to understand what their problems are. You know, I'm not just showing up saying, oh, I got a camera and I can shoot something for you if you want. It's more like, okay, let's not, let's not just create videos for the fun of it. Let's make video tools. And that process means that, you know, 1% of what I actually do is hit record. So 99% of what I do is I consult and strategize uh, plans and so that uh, that process is a little more delicate because uh, not everybody wants to be upfront about the issues that they may have with their business but I'm sure as uh, the relationship gets stronger and better and we can start looking at more numbers and whatnot uh, it'll be a good thing so with that said I'm not doing $300 videos in fact, I would even say a $3,000 uh, project would still be considered ultra low budget. There's a place for it and I will certainly do them, but I'm looking at much bigger uh, project planning, if you will. <laughs> so another component of what I'm doing and, and the whole uh, philosophy of why I'm doing it is I want to share the value. I want to share some of the sort of the behind the scenes, if you will. You know, kind of like my story that you're seeing it, but you know, like, like why am I helping such and such people? And, and what is it that uh, has me inspired to want to help them, if you will? Because uh, I believe that's where the true power or the, the modern power of marketing is, is being very authentic. Uh, but with that said, that doesn't mean that there won't be some projects that I'll do that may require a non-disclosure form or some sort of, you know, we're not really talking about it. And I will consider those on a case-by-case -case basis because, you know, if it means it's a job for me for a couple of weeks, then, you know, that could be important to me. But uh, I really hope to keep those ones at a minimum because I think, uh, I don't know if this is a bad terminology, but open source marketing is, is uh, more powerful than anything else out there right now. So I want to be part of that and, uh, and pushing that agenda, if you will. A little side story here. Uh, 
This is a uh, place that I come to quite frequently and they've been kind of making a mess out of it to create a uh, uh, water pipe system, sewage system for a new community that's going to be getting developed here pretty, pretty soon. So it's been kind of sad to see this area get torn up, but hopefully they're done with it and hopefully they'll put it back to where it was and it'll be all good for later on this ring. So I do have one concern I have to address and problem solve, and that is how much time I sort of spend by myself. Uh, one of the benefits that I had with the match is it got me out into the people. I wish I did a better job with that in hindsight, I, but that's another story. But I need to be able to interact with people more frequently than uh, most most of what my job's gonna entitle me to. Because the most of what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna be spending my time on my computer, I'm gonna be doing research, I'm gonna be uh, you know, editing videos, doing the email stuff, and all that stuff is, is by myself. And I need to be able to do that. That's part of, you know, I don't, I'm not really like too concerned about doing that part of it, but I do need to find social avenues. And I think the best way for me to do that is to quite frankly, find another part-time job that uh, can satisfy that. Uh, so uh, that's something that you could probably, I will probably address more into the future into another vlog, uh, but that's something I need to address. Um, an ideal sense, and, and this might take six months or so before I can really get up the pace with it, but as I'm attending networking events, I'm actually kind of assessing what I like and what's already out there. And what I really want to do is either create my own networking events, actually back that up a little bit. It'd be a lot easier to help somebody else with their networking events, but basically get in on the organization and the facilitation of their events do marketing for them. And then uh, you know, when I'm at the event, I'm not just there to meet people for myself, but I'm there to be a host and connect other people and, and whatnot. I have a lot of really good ideas that I want to do with that, but uh, but that's a whole nother thing. And, and I got to get warmed up for that uh, and, and you know kind of get established myself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, those are the two ideas that I'm floating on. I think they both merit their pros and uh, expect to see some sort of update on both of those fronts into the future. Well, I guess I should probably finish this off by saying that uh, I wanna do more of these updates. If you look at my rough numbers, I tend to do this once every month or longer, and I wanna try to squeak that down into approximately once every two weeks. And uh, that way I can be a little more thorough with the story and how it's developing, because uh, I believe that's a very important part of uh, the method to how I create videos and essentially market myself, you know, kind of seeing that behind the scenes, if you will. Uh, but I do got to practice time management because a video like this is easily the better part of a day's worth of work. And uh, obviously I can't spend too much time doing one thing. I gotta make sure I balance things out. Um, but that's something that I'm, I've, I've got an idea of what I need to do with that. But uh, I gotta make sure that uh, I do the things that I don't want to do as well. Because <laughs> uh, like shopping is an example. Uh, it's not that I don't like shopping, but uh, I've been needing to go shopping for like three or four days now. and <laughs> So uh, that's something I'll probably try to do tomorrow. <laughs> but in any case, uh, we'll see you around and uh, have yourself a good one. <laughs> this is probably one of the first signs of spring right here. Actually, I'm going to go see if this is even working before I really get into it.